yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, man, before we get into the meat and potatoes, big manscape, shout out to them. Black Friday sales still going on, 25% off. Cyber Monday still going on as well, 25% off. Make sure you tap in, get your stock and stuff, let's knock all of that stuff out of the way. Also, the merch store still popping. Go in there and grab your Hurt Season merch. Just do what you got to do. Sweatsuit's coming soon. Ah. The Philadelphia Eagles lose 7-13 to the New York Giants. In a game that I automatically knew was a trap game. I knew this was a trap game. A lot of people were saying that we had this in the bag. I knew this was a trap game. I've been watching enough football to, to, to see a trap game coming. I knew this was a trap game. Um, J Jalen Hurts was off. Jalen Hurts' decision making was bad in this game. Um, he threw three interceptions, two in the first half, one in the second half. The worst one, in my opinion, was the one to end the half because that interception took the opportunity off of the board to go ahead and get three points. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you, and you know, I'm catching a lot of flack from saying that, you know, hopefully Nick Sirianni is reminding Jalen Hurts of situations in the situation that he's in. Hopefully he's going to him or the quarterback coach. Somebody is saying, listen, this is third down. If it ain't there, throw it away. We're going to take the three and make this a one possession game. You know what I mean? Hopefully that's happening. On that same drive, Greg Ward did drop a touchdown pass, but Jalen Hurts did not have to force that ball on third down to throw that interception. That was a bonehead play. A few times in the first half, he was throwing into double coverage. Didn't really like it at all. He seemed to settle down as he felt he was running out of time. He seemed to settle down as he felt he was running out of time. You know, Boston Scott had more carries than Miles Sanders. I don't like that. Not saying that we're wrong for that, but I'm just saying that how was that how, how was that the case? This team looked immediately different without Jordan Howard back there. Immediately looked different. The team looked immediately different without Kelsey under center as well. We got some got some holding penalties timely, uh, well, uncostly holding penalties on uh, Herbick, and you know things just seemed a lot of uh, a lot out of sorts for a while for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, one positive throughout the game was Alex Singleton's, you know, tackling. He seems to have stepped up after being benched and having some time taken away from him. Um, yeah, this game was ugly. It wasn't one of our best games. It was it was just. It was just a bad offensive game. The play calling was bad at times. A lot of stuff was bad. Three interceptions, but yet and still with the three interceptions, Jalen Hurts had the ball in his hands, and he had a chance to win the game. You could make what you want out of the three interceptions, but did the three interceptions stop us from having the ball in our hand with a chance to win the game? He didn't throw interceptions on those drives. He didn't. I thought the game was over when Boston Scott fumbled. The defense stepped up, got the ball back. We had three timeouts, luckily. But Jalen Rager drops two touchdown passes, two walk-off touchdown passes, to send the Giants home. Despite everything we have went through, you know, fighting this battle in this game, Jalen Hurts drops two walk-off, Jalen Rager drops two walk-off touchdown passes. I don't know what we're going to do about Jalen Rager, about his role moving forward. But a lot of people are sending me still images of Jalen Hurts having Devontae Smith open on that drive a couple times. But I'm looking at this like, what do you want him to do? Not trust other guys? Not trust other guys? That was, that was two touchdown passes. We dropped three touchdown passes today in a six-point game. Seriously, if you can talk about anything on that last drive other than the two drops by Jalen Rager, the ball's on you. Like, what, what are we talking about here? Ultimately, it came down to a wide receiver having his number called. A chance to get the fans off his back. A chance to get the monkey off his back. And he went and dropped the ball twice. That's what it really boils down to. Because Jalen Hurts wasn't throwing the ball well. In the game. But on the last drive he was sharp. He was sharp on the last drive. Bottom line. When it was time to be clutch. He was sharp. I've seen quarterbacks turn a ball over three times. And win games. We've seen it before. But what has to happen for that to happen. Other guys got to do their job as well. Other guys got to do their job as well. So anybody saying that Jalen Hurts should have threw the ball to Devontae Smith on that drive, don't really, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I can't take that serious. It, 
Rager's a first round pick. Rager needs to be acting like a first round pick. Be getting paid like one. And I hate to make it seem like I'm being down on players. Because that's really not the case. But this is a really, really frustrating loss for me. A really frustrating loss for me. Because the Giants really didn't do anything to win that game. It was all mistakes that we made. Congratulations to the New York Giants. Shout out to Bad Dog. Shout out to Entertainer. Shout out to Fish. Shout out to the Giants community. You guys did come out there and play a different style of defense. That kind of stifled the running of Jalen Hurts a little bit. A little bit, you know what I mean? You kind of did some things. You looked newer on, on offense as well. So, shout out to y'all. But the, the opportunity to win the game was there for the Philadelphia Eagles. You cannot go out there and drop the ball like that. Literally. You cannot go out there and just, and just, and just do nothing in big moments. You can't go out there and do nothing in big moments. You can't. I'm simply disgusted with the lack of focus... For this, for this football team in the critical situations. Boston Scott too. Boston Scott too. Fumbling the ball in the first place. But it didn't stop anything. It didn't stop anything. It didn't stop anything, man. I mean, we got the Jets next. Then we could rest up for our bye. We got to go out here and take care of the Jets. You know what I'm saying? We got to go ahead and take care of the Jets. I knew this was a trap game. Anytime you go on the road against a division rival, it's going to be a tough game. Nine times out of ten. But, you know, I'm just at loss for words with the way that we lost this game. I mean, it was an exciting finish. Cool. But at the end of the day, the win is all that matters. The win is all that matters. So I'm not here to put all the blame on Jalen Hurts or Jalen Rager. But most of the blame, I mean, how could you not put the blame on Jalen Rager in that situation? How can you? Because you could tell me about Jalen Hurts' interceptions, but did they lead the points? They didn't lead the points. There was no pick sixes. The offense of the New York Giants didn't turn around and score the ball in those interceptions. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. But the harsh reality of it is, is that the wide receiver did not catch two walk-off touchdowns. Two walk-off touchdowns. How many, t how much longer? See, interceptions don't plague us. This was an anomaly. Jalen Hurts throwing this many interceptions. Clearly, interceptions don't plague us. But drop touchdowns have been a theme for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts ain't running around here throwing t three, four interceptions a game all year. No, he's not. He's not. In fact, Jalen Hurts is not going to have many three interception games in his career. I can bet on that. He's a young player, made some mistakes. But how many times is the story going to end around the Philadelphia Eagles dropping touchdown passes? Come on, man. At the end of the day, you're talking about at least 15 drop touchdown passes so far at this point at, in the season. Something got to change, man. Something got to change. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man.